First of all, I want to personally thank His Holiness Radnath Marsh. Thank you very much for the opportunity you've provided for all of us and for your generosity in being available for us. And also, my heart's really touched by the Association of Vaishnavas. And I really pray that I, I uh, take this with me and um, that this really helps me in my next step in Krishna consciousness. So it's a very special opportunity and I want to really carry it with me. So thank you for your generosity. Hare Krishna. And I, and I wanted to thank each and every one of you um, for being here, for, for participating fully. It wouldn't have been the same Puniyatra if any one of you wouldn't have been here. It would have been a different Puniyatra. So each one of you has contributed something to another Vaishnava. You may not be aware of it, but just your presence here has really contributed and made this Puniyatra what it was, what it is. And I want to really thank each and every one of you for your your kindness. Um, just your, your, um, your love and for your beautiful smiles. It just melted my heart and really brought me a lot of joy. Um, in my journey in Krishna consciousness, I was always, um, what was emphasized was Guru and Krishna, Guru and Krishna, Guru and Krishna. And I never um, really had such a privilege and opportunity to relish the nectar of Vaishnava Association. So I really pray that I don't take this association for granted and that I really carry it with me. And as some of the other speakers said, um, no one likes to say goodbye and no one likes things to end. It's the nature of the material world that, it's the nature of, it's just the nature that everything is changing even in the spiritual world. And somehow we don't want it, things to change. We think this was so wonderful. I, I want to stop time and I want this moment to just be eternal. But we don't need to stop time to have this moment be eternal. We just need to um, bring whatever was present here with us. So your enthusiasm, your devotion, your enlivenment, whatever you got from this experience, you can take it into each and every day and each and every moment. And it can be Puniyatra wherever you are if you bring that consciousness and that attitude with you. The attitude of cooperation, the attitude of love and respect, just ca carry that with you. And you can carry Puniyatra with you throughout the year. So whenever there's a so-called end to a chapter, there's also a, a new beginning. And if we um, take this opportunity and this experience fully with us, then the next moment, the next new beginning is going to have all of this extra wonderful energy to move us forward. And I, I, I request that you take this energy and you take this um, experience and share it with each and every person that you meet. 
and then that can spread the glories of Srila Prabhupada's movement and Krishna's holy name. And I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. You've knelt at my hard heart. And just, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. So thank you very much. Coming here because she is my old dear friend. I did not even know she was going to be here. We met at the customs line in the airport in Bombay. <laughs> After so many years, I was amazed. So I wanted to thank her for enhancing my trip and my experience um, unlimitedly, and also to Narataki Peru, because it's one of the things I look forward to when I come to India, to seeing her again. And also I want to thank our hosts. We've been ho uh, hosted so wonderfully by Mumsi Gopal and Radhika Peru's. I can't thank you enough. We were just so well cared for. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. coming from all directions. <laughs> <laughs> Chandra Mali Maharaj said that it's better for you to see me up here, so forgive me for sitting up here. I'm definitely not qualified. I just wanted to, um, I asked, I asked um, His Holiness Radhanath Maharaj how I could thank everyone, and he said, please say something at the closing. Um, I just took a couple of notes of some things. The first thing that I just want to say is that um, it, it struck me as a very strong realization recently that um, if it wasn't for the prayers of the devotees and the prayers of specifically of my mother, that I would have no access to um, this Vaishnav Sangha and specifically to the lotus feet of His Holiness Radhanath Maharaj. So um, I want to encourage all of the mothers and all of the fathers and brothers and sisters who are praying for their family members or other Vaishnavas to please know the power of your prayers. Um, I can give you details later, but I can tell you 100% for sure, if it wasn't for the prayers of my mother, I would not be in this um, Vaishnava association. Uh, the next thing I just wanted to mention is that, um, and I've heard um, Radhanath Maharaj also say this, that when devotees pray uh, a preach, to other devotees and inspire other devotees. It's especially dear to Lord Krishna because Lord Krishna loves his devotees. He's equal to everyone, but also he's more equal to his devotees. So it's really a special seva that you're doing by inspiring all of us and also inspiring the world. Um, and it's making you more and more and more dear to Lord Krishna. Um, and uh, the last small point I wanted to mention is so many people, especially Matajis have been coming and saying, encouraging me, saying, such a nice kirtan. Um, and I want, I want to make, make it very clear that all I've been able to do by the mercy of the devotees, by the mercy of Radhanath Maharaj, is just reflect like a mirror the energy and the, the bhakti that all of you have when you're leading kirtan, please understand that I, I know you know this, but a kirtan is not a performance. Kirtan is performance for Krishna's enjoyment, but it's not like a, like a rock show, right? Or like a, like a... So what it is, the kirtan leader is just trying to give some indication of direction that the kirtan can go so that all the devotees can express their devotion to the Lord. So any ecstasy that devotees felt, please understand that it comes from your devotion and it comes from your practice and the more and more ecstatic that everyone was feeling during kirtan is just because it was getting more and more increased by the, the devotee's own, own uh, bhakti and prem. So, uh, Janani Vas Prabhu and Pankajangari Prabhu gave us a 
a real vision of seeing Lord Nishingadeva appear. <laughs> how beautiful, how beautiful was it to see Lord Nishingadev dancing while preparing to attack Hiranyakashipu. <laughs> he was so blissful, it was really scary. <laughs> Shri was Srila Prabhupada said that Lord Nishingadev only appeared by the mercy of Hiranyakashipu. <laughs> Maharaj knows my parampara properly. <laughs> Actually, um, I just wanted to read off a list of, of the devotees that, that I could think of that especially I wanted to thank. And um, I beg you all, last thing I want to say before I read this list of names, I just beg you all to please forcibly pull me out of the association of the Hiranyakashipus and please keep me um, in your association for as long as you can tolerate and please forgive my offenses both previous and future offenses <laughs> I want to thank Krishna Chandra Prabhu and Radha Priya Mataji I want to thank uh, uh, sorry Radhanath Maharaj said that they're like demigods. They're so generous and kind and uh, humble. And that it's true from experience now, I can say. So thank you. I want to thank Nikunja Bihari Prabhu and Radharani Priya Mataji for their very kind hospitality to me and my family and their, and their daughters also. Um, I want to thank Goranga Priya Prabhu for taking such nice care of every single arrangement. Practically, I would come downstairs with a question at Radha Gopinath Temple and he would say, Oh Prabhu, I just wanted to tell you something. And it would be whatever I was just about to ask, he had already dealt with it and fixed it. Um, I want to thank Govinda Prabhu for such sweet association. And all of what they call here Govinda's boys. Everyone who is one of Govinda's boys, they know who they are. And uh, thank you for such nice kirtans. And uh, it was just so sweet to be in, in uh, your association. I want to thank um, Sunil Prabhu, who was helping drive us everywhere. Daruka Prabhu, who also was so humbly driving everywhere. I want to thank uh, Anantanitai Prabhu for so patiently waiting for hours and hours at the music store while I was trying to pick out some flutes and harmonium for his patience. I want to thank Jai Gauranga Prabhu for such true brahmachari, humble brahmachari attitude. I want to thank uh, Bhaskar and Shamla Gopi Mataji. Um, Madhavananda Prabhu um, for taking such good care of my daughter while she was sick and also I don't know his full name Dr. Kishore he's there in the back um, thank you very much Hare Krishna thank you for letting me be here Hare Krishna and of course I want to thank His Holiness Radhanath Thanks to Gorvani Prabhu. Thank you, Gorvani Prabhu. Now I request His Grace Bharat. Позвольте присоединиться ко всем тем словам, которые были сегодня сказаны. 
а, о сегодняшней встрече, о, сего, о, о предных. Let, let me confirm the words being spoken about devotees in glorification. И лично я тронут этой встречей, хотя я не житель и не участник этой ятры. I'm very much moved by uh, this yatra, although I'm not member of uh, this community. Большую часть служения я провел в российской ятре. Most of my service I've done in Russian yatra. Но вот то, что привлекло меня к служению миссии, это была преданность из книг Прабхупады, о которой я читал. И как отмечал Ачуте Прия Прабху, что он замечал некоторые этапы в сознании Кришны нашей российской ятры, что yes. ему приходится замечать некий прогресс свой личный. Это Доля или этап прогресса связан с милостью Радханатха Махараджа. Также и я могу добавить от себя, что та преданность, которая привела меня к миссии и к движению сознания Кришны, и которую я черпал из книг Прабхупады, периодически снилось мне или я мечтал о ней. Uh, uh, that, uh, that Но иногда она, эта преданность проявлялась от общения с преданными. But so, sometimes this mercy uh, was manifested through association with devotees. And that... за всю историю, мне вот в следующем году будет уже 30 лет, как я служу миссии. But uh, over for the period of 30 years I am in this mission. Uh, я должен констатировать, uh, не обманывая никого, что здесь, именно в Пуне, Этой, эта преданность почему-то захлестнула мое все воображение. Поэтому что можно добавлять или как можно еще комментировать ситуацию здесь или общение здесь? как только одним выводом. Пусть это продолжается. So, uh, I have no other words to comment on the situation, uh, no words to comment, but I may just say, let it go on. Пусть это никогда не заканчивается. Let it won't stop at any time. Hribo. What Maharaj just did is just exactly what amazes me about being here amongst all of you since we've been to Gopinath, Radha Gopinath Mandir is the fact that everyone, everyone is treating every other person as their, as their Prabhu, as their master, someone to serve. And we're just overwhelmed. My family and I are just overwhelmed and inspired by this experience that we've had since we've been here. Gauravani Prabhu thanked everyone individually who's been taking care of us at Radha Gopi Nath Mandir. 
And uh, all I can say is that for the last year, I've been meditating quite a bit personally on the nature of relationships. And I think that for me, coming to Radha Gopinath Mandir this year and coming to this Yatra is kind of the culmination of that meditation and ultimately is the perfection of relationships in, in this material world. The model or the, the example that has, has arisen here primarily due to Radhanath Maharaj's great mercy is exactly the kind of the perfection of relationship that we can we can only hope and pray for in our lives and so I just want to thank each and every one of you who has who I've met here during this Yatra and at Radhagopinath Mandir for for treating us so kindly even though we're strangers you made us feel like we were your best friends and it's a very very humbling experience and also very inspiring and we're only hoping that somehow that we can take this mood of service and friendship and Vaishnav relationship back to America with us and extend it and, and establish this in New York City where I am from uh, and, uh, and create a community uh, like the one that you have here. The whole world is watching this place, Radhagopi Nath Mandir especially, the whole world is watching. And you are our inspiration and, and we, we're just completely humbled and thankful for your example. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Chaitanya Nitai Prabhu, for being <coughs> so sweet. I request Nartaki Mataji to speak. I want to thank Sila Prabhupada for having given me such a wonderful uh, family of devotees. And I want to thank Radha Nath Maharaj for understanding the mood of Sila Prabhupada in bringing the devotees and keeping the devotees together by by in a mood of love and service to each other and ultimately bring others into this family to experience the same love and friendship and Vaishnav association. Um, I wanted to, since I'm speaking just a few words, it's almost like I would be giving injustice to, but I do still at the same time want to express also um, some, some of my feelings about His Holiness Bhakti Swarup Damodar Maharaj. Because I was living in the community in Los Angeles, even though I came into the community when he had already left after he had finished his PhD, I already left, but he was a um, complete, um, uh, his presence was there completely, even after his leaving. And he would also return throughout his travels, th uh, throughout the world. And when he first came with his um, Manipuri troupe, when he developed this, his own congregation in Manipur, and he brought his Manipuri troupe, he very, proudly presented them to us because uh, he felt also that Los Angeles was his um, family. And uh, at that time, um, um, a god sister, Chaitanya Dasi, also helped always. And I was assisting her because she was um, in our drama um, presentations always the personality that uh, was putting on dramas, etc. and helping facility, facilitate other groups that were putting on dramas. So we were able to, uh, to assist her and the Manipuri group, uh, to, to um, help the Manipuri group um, to um, integrate into a culture which they have never experienced. 
and particularly the food was very strange to them. Our food was very strange to them. Some years down the road, you know, uh, Bhakti Swarup Damodaraj also showed his eagerness always how to. He loved to feed the Vaishnavas. He loved to feed the Vaishnavas, and he uh, had his Manipuri devotees. Uh, make a wonderful feast of Manipuri preparations, very exotic, very amazing, some rice preparation with dark, dark blue, blue brown rice and different sabjis and um, lotus seed sabjis, etc. Very exotic, extraordinary sabjis and um, sweets. And he would personally serve them. And no matter what we would say, he would not accept, he would just humbly serve. The same also, we went some, sometimes in Navadweep to his uh, temple there. So in the same way, he was serving the Vaishnavas. He had such hospitality. And um, through him I could perceive what it means to be, to have a Vaishnava culture. And his kindness and towards his god sisters, he was always very kind and um, friendly to his god sisters and uh, then we saw him also in Allahabad for the for the um, for the Kumbha Mela uh, um, um, for the Kumbha Mela in Allahabad that was I don't know some six years ago I think and um, he had brought also his money to Puri troop and um, Lokanath Maharaj had brought his Padyatra so every morning the bull, the big huge bull would uh, pull the cart of Sisi Gorani Thai out into the, uh, panda, you know, into, into the streets of the pandal, uh, pandals of um, Allahabad and um, um, they would, uh, the, the, the cart would stop and immediately a whole crowd of people would gather around and the Manipuri dancers would perform. It was such an opulence and everyone was so attracted to it. There was practically nothing like that in the whole of the Kumbha Mela, you know, of, of Vaishnavas going out, chanting the Harinam, having such a wonderful cultural performance and, uh, and um, all the people were really delighted. And um, he also brought some VIPs together for uh, religious um, uh, interfaith meeting and uh, some prominent people from Allahabad and all of India also participated and he was also like just trying to be the facilitator, he was so humble also and um, I'm sure that they were very pleased and um, and he had also made contact with um, Muli Manohar Joshi was the, was the, uh, the human resource minister at that time and his wife came for her birthday to distribute prasadam in the pandal. He had arranged all that also. And um, she was presented with some gifts, etc. So he was always eager to bring the, the you know, the politicians and celebrities, etc., together to kind of understand this culture of Vaishnavism. And he was always very polite and humble, you know, and very kind to them. So I, when I heard of his departure, and I made, very, made much friendship with his disciples too. He has wonderful disciples in Iran, and I'm very pleased to also have met some some devotees, Iranian devotees here. The, the mother of one of the devotees even came. And um, I forgot her name again. It's a very difficult Farsi name. And, um, and um, when I heard of his departure, I was very... I felt so much that we have lost one of our dear, dear God brothers who was so close to Srila Prabhupada. And it was very sad and I was able, to, I was in Radha Kund right after his Samadhi installation and I was in one of the 
back rooms. I was allowed to stay in one of the back rooms. And that night it was bahulash to me. I was, um, even though we went so late to bed, and normally when we go late to bed, we fall very deep, deep to sleep. But that night I was, I was actually having, getting hystarshan in my dream also. And uh, I was trying to, I was trying to um, pacify his disciples because I felt just as devastated as they were. So I'm just praying to Sula Prabhupada that we soon meet again all in one family and in the spiritual world. And here in this festival, I just wanted to say a few appreciations about um, the wonderful lectures that Radhanath Maharaj gave, how he was presenting our Vaishnava Acharyas like Madhava Acharya and um, uh, Grandfather Bhishma Dev with so much detail and and many times I noticed that he presents so much the as if he was there himself, the emotional and inner feelings of these personalities that I'm just amazed. Especially, I was thinking that day with Grandfather Bhishma Dev, often he is not very well understood, you know. And he was just like almost reliving the, the sentiments that were going on between the Lord and his pure devotee Bhishma Dev. And um, the things that were going on in the heart of uh, Bhishma Dev, how he was what he was feeling and how he was so dedicated to the Lord and and um, I was just amazed and I was very thankful because my steel heart doesn't often uh, doesn't have all these emotions I'm just so surprised to hear this and um, in the in the question and answer session I very much appreciated uh, him, he made a very nice statement which I no, take, took a note of on consulting with senior Vaishnavas. He was saying that one should take an inventory of one's motivations and um, become conscious of, of our motives and make sure that we don't have any ulterior motives. Um, and that we should really make sure that whatever service we do, that, we, that whatever bhakti we engage in, we should do in the mood of service. And that's Prabhupada always emphasized uh, more than anything, anything, not to be duplicitous, not to have uh, any ulterior motives, but to be sincere. So this sincerity. And um, I, was, I wanted to thank him for this... Uh, presentations, lectures, and realizations, etc. Of course, there were many others, but I'm supposed to keep it short. And um, I wanted to thank my god brothers and god sisters for their association. Just like Ras Lila, she snatched it away before me. <laughs> yeah. I, was, uh, I was very... Um, I'm always very happy. I asked, you know, when I talked to Krishna Chandra Prabhu, who will be coming amongst our God brothers and God sisters? And he said, Oh, uh, Raslila is coming. Then there is um, Soma Prabhu and Pankajangi and uh, Jananivas and, and um, Sukha Vahamatadi and like this. And I was excited. Only thing I was missing, oh, Malati is not on the list and Malati is not coming. I asked several times. And um, but uh, I was excited to get to know Sukhava Matadi. I was very happy to meet her and get to know her. And also Soma Prabhu, because I heard him in, uh, in, um, in the hospital already over the loudspeaker. I heard his uh, um, appreciations of Radhanath Maharaj and their little pastimes and as cowherd cow boys in New Vrindavan. And... Um, and I was very touched by his humility and simplicity and he was so silent when we're, whenever we were eating prasadam. And I'm always so talkative, I wish I could take a little example. I'm talking too much. And um, so I just wanted to thank Krishna Chandra Prabhu 
and all the Vaishnavas for their wonderful association. Hare Krishna. I saw Guru Vani Prabhu. I was just like, I couldn't believe it because I know him as a little sunny bo little boy, always smiling, curly hair like this. I saw, know him since he was only a tiny little boy and he's actually not just Rukmini's son, he's my son also. And when I saw him after many, many years dancing there, one of the devotees was asking me, why are you not dancing with him? Why are you not twirling around? I said, because I only wanted to look in that direction. I don't want to or in any other direction. Then my son is dancing. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, I was so happy to see him after so many years engaging in such wonderful Uchiswas Kirtan as the holy name deserves to be chanted in a ecstatic, high pitch to tune. I was so ecstatic to hear him engage, to see him engaged like that. So thank you very much.